Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Extracity, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and showing you guys a tutorial on how I personally get the video and the gameplay that I get with, you know, the equipment and everything I use, and showing you guys a few alternative methods as well, if you guys aren't fortunate enough in, in order to get some of the equipment that I personally use to get my gameplays, but, uh, you know, they are pretty good quality, and they give you a good bang for your buck, so... Today, I'm going to start off with what I personally use. I'm going to show you guys the most in-depth, but the simplest guide that you guys can possibly watch and understand if you guys are new to this and are just starting off with YouTube and things like that. So what I personally use, and you guys have probably heard this a lot if you guys watch YouTube videos and things like that for gaming, is I use this little guy right here, and it's called the Elgato Game Capture HD. Or at least that's the software that I use. And the actual thing that I use is the HD60. So it's the Elgato HD60 and it's absolutely amazing like it works very very well it's easy and simple to use and I, I'll just show you guys all the settings and the things you guys have because there's a bunch of things that you can tweak with I'm not saying it's the best one but it's definitely a good one and I personally use it I can tell you guys that it works very very well so I'm not paid to say this but you know it is a very good software so Let's go into the settings here and let's start off with the capture settings as this is, you know, where you're going to be spending the most amount of time in. And that is, you know, tweaking with the settings and things like that for your video to look good, but at the same time for your, you know, quality of, you know, rendering and things like that to be fast enough in order to upload them relatively quickly and things like that. So, first of all, I upload in 1080p 60 frames. So, keep that in mind. What you guys see on my channel is in 1080p at 60 frames a second so if you guys you know want that you guys got to have it in 1080p 60 frames and have you know the settings I have here now keep in mind I don't have the fastest internet but it, my video really takes about an hour to upload a little less a little bit more depending on how long it is but about an hour if you guys have 720p it's probably gonna be half that if you guys have my internet which is about three megabits up so make sure you have a pretty decent connection when you're uploading in 1080 where it's gonna take hours upon hours upon hours and you don't want that because it used to take me like that before I had like a really bad internet and uh, now I've upgraded but you know keep that in mind I definitely recommend 720p if you guys don't have the best internet in the world so there it is that is what I use now I don't recommend going under 720p at all honestly in today's day and age um, when youtubers are making videos in like 4k and like 8k and all those type of stuff lower than 720p is something that honestly I highly recommend not doing because not only is your video not going to look that great but it's actually going to be, you know, a pretty bad um, way of, you know, introducing yourself in terms of, you know, your equipment and things like that. Because a lot of people re really won't look at things that are lower than 720. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's not that great. But, again, you can use 1080 and, you know, 720 and it's just fine. Just don't go really under that. I put 60 frames. I highly recommend 60 frames if you're going to be doing um, more like first-person shooters or where there's a lot of action going on on screen. And, uh, you know, definitely recommend 60 frames for those type of things. And make sure whatever game you play is available in 60 frames or 30 frames or whatever frames that you want to record it in or else it's just it's not gonna like be at the quality that you want and it's just gonna take up more storage for no reason for example in GTA 5 it's a 30 frames per second game while Advanced Warfare is 60 frames so keep that in mind a few little differences there but you know it's something that you should definitely take in notice and keep in mind um, these other two features here or these other two things you should just keep them ticked this is just for other people whenever they are watching or playing back your video it just converts to whatever definition that it says here 640 by 8 480 and it just looks good on their screen as well uh, HDMI color range expanded all these things keep them unchecked this no and then HDMI obviously that's the only input for this thing and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for that and then picture you guys can totally tweak with this as much as you want keep in mind whatever happens on your software here it also happens on your PlayStation and uh, yeah so all your gameplays will definitely take notice from this it might look better it might look worse just tweak with it to wherever you find that it's necessary to look good and uh, to not be too saturated or too undersaturated so you guys can tweak with those if you want but you know without a doubt it's not bad you know keeping them at zero I keep them at zero and it and it you know it looks just fine but you guys can definitely tweak with those if you feel necessary audio you guys can totally tweak with this again wherever you feel that it's necessary if you talk louder you know turn it down a little bit so it's not like ear poundingly loud and then if you know talk quieter you should probably turn it up a little bit so you can hear your voice a little bit more pronounced and a little bit better than if you had it really low profiles I don't even touch this honestly you guys can go without this without a problem and you're just fine TV compatibility this is again where you should you know tweak with it to wherever it works for you and your PC 
and your PlayStation 4 and your monitor because I used to have this to a point where I didn't know where to put it. I put it to like 10, put it to 1, I put it to 0, I put it to so many little things. I did not know where to put this. And again, you guys really need to tweak with this wherever your monitor is good with it. Because you guys can see, it does fade to black if it's not in the good place. And what that basically means is while you're playing, your screen will basically turn black for like a couple seconds. And then it'll turn back on. But, you know, obviously that happens, you know, pretty frequently every like five minutes, three minutes. I don't know. But it happens. And just put it to a place where it's fine for your TV, but also for your Elgato and your, you know, your console and everything like that so those are the settings for my Elgato in terms of for the software itself you guys again can go and tweak with it obviously where you, when you save it I just call it Elgato gameplay something simple something that I can remember it in uh, flashback recording this is probably my most used feature and it's probably the best feature that the Elgato software has and that basically is this little bar right here and it's blue the reason why it's blue is because it's obviously on and it's enabled but if you guys have it disabled, it'll be gray. Um, I believe it's on by default. But keep in mind, your PC needs to handle this. And what it is exactly is that, as you guys can see, I've been recording for 36 minutes. Or at least my preview has been going on for 36 minutes. Now, if any point in time, for example, I get like a DNA bomb between whatever time to where, you know, I did it in to where it's now. And let's say, I, you know, I forgot to record. You know, I was like, oh, I'm screwed. All you got to do is just go back with the bar to wherever, you know, you're DNA started or whatever wherever you want to start and just record and once you click this little red button it will go all the way to this end and that basically means it's you know recording everything up to where you're at now which is like live and it still continues if you don't click it again which is you know something that you need to do if you just want that little snippet but keep in mind you can't just record here and then end here you gotta record here you gotta start recording here and then it'll go all the way to where it's at now which is live so there you go. That's you know a little bit of an insight on how that works. Very, very good feature. Highly recommend you use it if your PC can handle it because I know my old PC really couldn't handle it and it just really lagged a lot. So I personally recommend using that a lot if you can use it. Other than that, sharing options, keep them all unchecked unless you want to upload to YouTube directly without having any editing or anything like that which I don't use and if you guys want me to do another video on how I edit my videos you guys can surely you know ask me in the comments below and if there's enough of you guys that want to see that I can totally do that in another episode and just show you guys what I personally do to edit my videos but you guys can obviously share to YouTube if you guys don't want to do anything Facebook Twitter all these other stuff this one is probably the most used one that I use it's basically to convert whatever Elgato format is I'm not sure exactly what it is you know dot something but in, you know, t converting that into an MP4, which is what your PC can actually view things in. So make sure it's an MP4 file, so you can you know do that. And what I personally do is just keep this. So whenever I record a video and I'm done, it will automatically do it. So I don't have to click this, but I just have that there just in case I need to like do it again or whatever. So that's all I do. These ones I've never touched, honestly, except this one. This is just for when I make live commentaries. I want to edit my live commentary after. By like adding you know more boost gains or whatever that's more advanced but yeah I just you know keep it separate unless you guys want to have it you know one file for your game audio and for your voice you guys can totally do that as well so that's all I do updates I just automatically check for updates why not and then here it's for your video encoding I've not really touched this too much from the beginning I just automatically put it to highest quality and just kept it to where like my decoder was my graphics card so it did the best job and then obviously you know there's only one option here so it's just like the software that's built in and there you guys have it so that's pretty much it for the Elgato settings again it's pretty simple and it's pretty powerful you guys can live stream directly through it you can use game audio you can use obviously your game capture device here and your tags and things like that you guys can all change all those type of things and uh, yeah it's pretty good and it works very very well so that's pretty much for the Elgato settings. Again, it works very well. If you guys are not fortunate enough to get this, I will be talking about a few other methods that uh, I personally do, uh, or I personally know people that do, and they work pretty well. It's just obviously, you know, you're saving money and not having to get this, which is like $200. So the first method I personally use, if you have a PlayStation 4, I've tried it. I've not really done anything with it, but you know, it is there is using whatever is built in on your PlayStation 4. If you have a PlayStation 4, if you have an Xbox One, I'm not sure if they have that sort of thing. But uh, basically, you can record your gameplay on screen as well as possibly even live stream um, through it as well. Again, I'm not sure if the Xbox can do this, 
but you know with the PlayStation 4 you can record whatever's on your screen and obviously uh, live stream as well so those are the things you guys can do as you guys can see and right here um, people are game broadcasting which is like live streaming and it can be their twitch you stream all these type of services and you guys can live stream directly which you know is pretty simple and it works very well other than that uh, you guys can use HD PVRs not the best quality if you really don't have money you guys can totally do that and it works very well honestly it's not bad but um, again you are gonna sacrifice quality for the price and things like that but it works if you guys are tight on cash and the last thing that you guys can use is a different capture card that is cheaper so you can probably use an Avery media I'm not sure if those are cheaper or not but I believe they are at least some of them are for your console they you know I think they go from like a hundred to like three hundred dollars so I'm not sure exactly what it is there's also the old Elgato that you guys can get there's a lot of option guys there's really a lot a lot of options that you guys can go for I don't honestly know all of them because I just use the Elgato it's simple straightforward I don't have to tweak it very much but if you guys you know are tight on cash definitely you know look at the options out there because there are many options that you guys can use and if you guys really don't want to record you know console which obviously you need a capture card you can just record PC straight off the bat and it's a lot easier and uh, you guys can use capture cards on PC but I don't want to go too much into that but you know it does work like that as well so you can you can you can do PC gameplay you know and it's just fine and uh, you know you can use OBS which is what I use now and it works just fine and it looks good too so that's pretty much it for this video I know it's a little bit of a long one but I just want to give you guys the best in-depth you know video for getting started on YouTube with your gameplays and your commentaries and things like that um, again I'll make other videos if you guys want me to about how I make my audio how I render how I do all these type of things how I make my thumbnails who knows if you guys want to see those type of things I can definitely make them and show you guys how to do them because I know when I started off there wasn't very much out there that I personally would use and it was just it was kind of a mess and I really just want to give you guys a simple straightforward guide on how to do things so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it hit that like button if you have for me that'd be definitely appreciated and it'll show your support toward the channel and if you guys are new here or have not already be sure to subscribe as I to upload daily videos just like this Call of Duty Grand Theft Auto all sorts of stuff and I don't want you guys to miss out on any of my future content but anyways as always hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll catch all your beautiful faces in the next one peace out